everybody, I'm Tony Fleming. Welcome to Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Today we are doing a video on a smile maker. You say, well, Tone, what exactly is a smile maker? And I say, well, anytime you walk up to a car and you end up doing this, that to me says a smile maker. I was just spouting off something and I wanted you to think about this for a second. This car today is, is 52 years old, 52 years old. This is a mechanical device. It's not just a car, it's a mechanical device. And so I ask you this question. Do you have a 50-year-old, 52-year-old TV in your house? Do you have a 52-year-old toaster in your house? Do you have a 52-year-old toothbrush in your house? And the answer to this is probably no, I do not. So how possibly could these vehicles continue marching on year after year? Well, the way it works is this, they get restored like this. This is a nice car, it's beautifully restored. Sunset orange pearl, right? Uh, maybe not a stock factory color, but a beautiful color, especially out on the open road. It just looks spectacular. With the wheels here, looks super, super nice. We're gonna take some time, look at some of the rest restoration, some of the details, and talk about a couple changes we could make if you wanted to. All right, so I just happen to really love these rims. I think that breaks up the car a little bit. However, some people really love the stock original wheel cover uh, and wheel. So we have those, we could put those and exchange those for you if you wanted to. I also thought about this is because we stripe a lot of cars. How cool would it be to add a nice black stripe that came along here and in here uh, in the stripe, it said uh, Carmen Gia in there just like the script would have uh, on here. I thought it'd be a really nice touch. We can do that for you and that's really cool. And lastly, I always like to talk about things uh, that you might not get in pictures. And one of those is paint quality. Paint quality is super important. And when we talk about paint quality, what does that actually mean? Well, in pictures, paint quality can be whatever you want. And in this case here, we're talking about video. Why do we do video and paint quality? Because the video shows you what you're really getting. We can't manipulate the video. People manipulate pictures all the time. They take them in certain angles, right? This is raw. It's real. It's right now. And so when you can see the letters nice and crisp and clear like you can right now, right? And we're in these harsh LED lights. All right. And then look at that. Not to mention the color is just awesome. I love the color because if you're standing here, it's a little lighter orange as each part of the body makes its crest and things. It's a little darker orange there. It's called sunset orange pearl for a reason. Because in the light, it flip flops and changes and looks really, really good. There's no mistaking a Carmen Ghia from the rear of the car. Like most people who look at cars, even if we took these emblems off the car, I really don't think that anyone would mistake this for say a Ford Torino. It's just got a great style to it and it's got a great sound. They just make a sound that no other car makes. All of these cars have kind of the same idea of the engine. However, in this case here, this one here has some modifications to it. So we have a little bit more power, all right? And we have nice detail and painting in here. We have uh, upgraded components. We have an engine that runs and drives, fires right up, sounds good, and makes great power. It's just an awesome, awesome piece in the sense where you think about maybe going for a drive after work or something like that, uh, maybe driving it to work, and this becomes your therapy. And uh, I don't know what else to say other than see, I think about getting in the car and just going for a drive. All right, let's talk about a functional car for a second. First off, there is a place in the back there for uh, lots of luggage, okay? Or they actually sell a seat for the rear, which you can put back there. And if you choose to do that and you need to carry people, now we have some storage in here, right? This is where I see a lot of shortcuts in, in uh, restorations. They don't finish things inside. So for instance, this here is all painted inside here. That means the car is all taken apart, okay? Uh, this has an original style spare tire in here, which is kind of cool when you think about it. This could be a 50 year old tire for all we know. Also, it's done correctly. This is the washer with the uh, air, needing the air to work the washer uh, nozzles there. 
keeping us all there. The tag for the car is right here as well. So here's the way the car was built, nicely done there. And then this piece of carpet is all new, but this is supposed to be tucked up like this. So I'll have that done before you get it. But I just wanted you to see that right there. And then uh, all your wiring, covering and things like that. They painted all of this. The latch is uh, cadmium plated. And you say, well, Tom, what does it really matter about the cadmium plated here and here? I say, well, you're right. It's not really going to affect the function of the car. However, what it does say is that when the restoration was done, they did all the right things to kind of finish it up. That's all I meant by that. All right, so before I got in the car, I wanted to just show you back here, which is kind of nice. This is a very high-end audio system that's been installed in the car, right? We're talking custom paint and a high audio system. You're kind of getting the feel of what kind of car we have here. But back here we have uh, some six by nines. We have a subwoofer all custom mounted inside this here. However, if you decide that you maybe want to get a seat for back here or you want to put luggage back here or maybe uh, take one of the dogs, cats, one of your pets with you, you might not want this. So we could move these speakers uh, to the sides and take them out of the box freeing up that space if you wanted to. Again, you don't have to do anything. I'm just giving you some options and some things like that that you can do. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get in the car. Hopefully we are going to experience something that I like to talk about, and that's room. I'm 6'1". I'm not saying that to you because I'm saying I'm tall. I'm telling you I'm 6'1 because it means that there's a lot of room in here uh, for bigger people. This is a great car in the world of sports cars. Sometimes they're very tight. This gives us a lot, a lot of room, as you can see in here. The audio system that we talked about, built in another set of speakers in the front here, all new interior, carpet, seat covers, uh, boots, shifters, balls, steering wheels been restored, right? Uh, full gauges here with an upgraded set of gauges right there. Lastly, also has these snaps here for if you want to get a tonneau cover. And a tonneau cover allows you to not have to put the top and the windows up each time if it's going to rain or you're going to be out for a few hours and you don't want it to fill up with dirt. You just put the tonneau cover on here, it unzips, folds back, and then you put it back on when you want uh, to leave the car and keep the interior all nice and clean. Anyway, I just thought it was really nice in here and you should see that. All right, so we spent a lot of time looking at the detail stuff on this, and the detail stuff is important, but that's not really what's important. What's really important is this, that when you get in this car and you go for a drive, you have a good time, right? When I would walk up to this car, we're watching this video, and each time you're going to watch the video two or three more times, right? You show a friend, whatever. This car makes you smile. Everyone looks at this car and they smile. This is a great color combination. The wheel and tires, I think, look great. Again, we can make a couple small changes on the car if you want to. We talked about doing something with the rear seat. You can do that. We can go with stock wheels if you wanted to go with that. We could leave these here and put a black stripe on the side there, which I think might look nice. Up to you, we, or we don't do anything. We leave it just as it is. It is an awesome, awesome car. I'm telling you, man, you get this car, you drive it to work on a Friday, you get in it, and you turn off your Twitter feed and your Facebook feed and your boss's feed and everyone else's feed that's feeding you all day long, put on some music, go for a drive, and changes your life. Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this Carmen Ghia Cabriolet, 52 years old today, right? And uh, lastly, if you don't mind, share this video with some uh, uh, your friends. Subscribe to the channel. And lastly, we are gonna go on a test drive, so uh, I will see you on the test drive. With the upgraded engine, you're getting a nicer sound, you're getting more power. I just wanted you to hear it real quick. I love the way it started right up. Maybe they were built to last, they were expensive, there were a few of them, and now 